Hello, this is HG Baby, and welcome back to Let's Play Super Mario RPG! Since last time, I bought a whole bunch of fireworks. You see, I've spent a lot more of my money there, and... Yeah, I just stopped at getting another shiny stone there. And I also went back to Bowser's Keep to go through the puzzle rooms of the Six Door Chamber. Took care of that off-screen just to get the treasures at the end of those. But yeah, it's relatively easy to do that. So, well, now I want to go to the weapon world, but first I need to change my setup a little bit here. Let's see. Well, Mario is going to be the same there. Let's see. Mallow, I want to give him the work pants because I need as much speed as I can get going through this place. Let's see. For Gino, yeah, we'll give him the work pants. He won't lose too much on the defense and the magic defense. Let's see, for Bowser, I don't think I'll be using him, but yeah, I'll give him the work pants for a little more speed. And for Peach, let's keep her on the safety ring there, but we'll give her the work pants too to help out her speed as much as we can get. I want to have like at least 30, preferably 40 speed. And then with the ally buff that we get from Gina there, yeah, that'll put us over the top for almost every enemy in the area. Okay, so now, let's return to the weapon world. Well, it's nice of them to keep the door wide open for us. Ah, now we got music in this place. So, let's see what we got around here. So, just like Mario 3, you got these nuts and bolts here and you jump on them to sort of push yourself along that way i think they were only on like the airship levels or something in mario 3 but in any case hey there's a familiar face but they might have a new enemy with them and they do uh doppel there i i would think they would eventually try to like doppelgang you or something but Oh, I don't know, but we also got Plum Reapers back here again. And I would like to take those two guys out because they can inflict a lot of status ailments on us. Let's get a good thought peek in on Doppel there. We don't need the Plum Reapers because we already got that back in Bowser Keep there. How could they be stiff? You're a ghost. How does that even work? Uh-oh, this could be bad. Eh, nothing you can do about that one. But, yeah, so... Wow. Well, that one's not as bad. Just a little damage there. But, uh, I think I can still take out the Glum Reaper even while I'm afflicted with fear. But, yeah, so the Doppels there, they don't have an elemental weakness, but they can inflict fear or mute on your party. So you might want to watch out for that. Uh, let's go after the special one. Or I could totally whip at these guys. Man, these guys have a lot of evasion. If I can just kick one of them out, that'll help out quite a bit. Okay, there we go. And then, let's see. Uh, both of those guys, by the way, Glum Reapers and Doppels, are immune to jump. So, yeah, we'll have to go with the physical attacks there. At least for Mario, anyway. But Oh, right, got him. So, let's see. Gum... Reapers, by the way, can inflict fear, sleep, or instant death on you. That's one of the reasons why I have the, uh, the Quartz Charm equipped on Gino there. And here we've got another new enemy, Amiiboy. Let's see what's uh, special about these guys. Not very much, but they are weak to fire, immune to jump, they can inflict fear or poison on your party members. Surely, I won't miss a freaking mushroom. Finally, you can actually hit something. One thing I like to do with these uh, bolts here is I like to use the D-pad, pressing down and then right as I'm moving it along here so I don't fall off. Not that that's a huge concern. 
let's see. Okay, there's no enemy out over there. So, yeah, we'll just go back up. So, whatever direction you're trying to go, like up and to the left there, I would press up and left on the D-pad, alternating as I'm going across the nut and bolt here. You really don't want to fall off these things. I mean, you'll be fine, but... Well, eventually I will fall off one of these things. And then I'll show you what happens. Actually, you know what? I, let's just do that now. Since we're already at the end of this section. So yeah, you fall off. It sends you back up. Right back where you fell off or whatever the last platform you were on there. So, but so far, so good. Whoa! Where are these guys coming from? Okay, took care of all those guys, so just hit the button, boom, we can continue onward. Hooray! Let's see, I don't think what I'm looking for is here. Let me, uh, oh no, it actually is here, hold on a sec. Let me uh, back up a moment here. Let's equip the regular signal ring. Oh, where could it be? Well, th there's the new echo sensor or signal ring that we could equip to tell us more exactly where they are. So you see as you get farther away, it beeps slower. When you get closer, you can find a hidden treasure. So yeah, it gives you a little bit more of a hint to collect them all, but that is all of the hidden treasures in the game. Okay, so we got all that out of the way. Uh, let's see. I don't think I need to save, do I? No, not yet. But over here, we get the ultimate weapon in the game for Mario. The Ultra Hammer. So let's take a look at that. So it is a little weaker than the Lazy Shell on average. But it's not that much weaker. Like, not even... Yeah, little, about 10% or so. But uh, I like the stability of the damage of the Ultra Hammer. So at this point, I figure it's close enough. It'll be worthwhile there. But yeah, now we can just hop up here. Get to the other one. Uh-oh. Um, okay, okay, we're good. Just had to get my bearings, literally and figuratively. And then... Whoa, what's that guy? We better get ready for them. Okay, so for Mario here, I want to give him the Jinx Belt. Not so much for the agility, although that is... Well, actually, it doesn't really matter. I'm only really using it for the instant death protection. For Mallow, let's give him the safety badge for status protection. And speed doesn't really matter coming up here. So, yeah, we don't need the work pants or anything like that. Keep the Quartz Charm for instant death protection. Bowser is not really going to be doing anything. And Peach, I want to keep her on the safety ring for instant death protection and status protection there. But uh, for now, we'll just start with the main three and go from there. Where, what about Luigi? Well... You open the door, I got in. For boss time against Countdown and ring a ding a dings But uh, okay, so Countdown is weak to jump. So yeah, definitely want to take advantage of that. Let's get a good Geno boost going on Mario. Since he doesn't have the auto attack buff now. And then let's start getting a little thought beat going on countdown there. If a clock can think. But yeah, weak to jump. Also weak to lightning there. Oh, okay. I'll watch out then. There we go. Uh, what do we got? Oh, I thought they were attacking me again. Oh, okay. Well, I don't think I damaged them very much. But let's keep going after countdown there. There you go. Let's get a Geno Boost going on Mallow. Although I'm not going to have him attack just yet. I still want to get the Thought Peak 
on the Rigadings, and you only need one of them. There's only one entry for those guys on the monster list there. But yeah, they are also weak to lightning there, and I would like to take advantage of it. Yeah, that one's easy enough to block. Okay, so what are you guys doing? Nothing, apparently. Keep going. See, did that? Yeah, that killed the guy. Okay, so we got countdown. Well, down. So, let's see. Now, I'm going to actually switch out for Peach here. Let's see. As far as uh, statuses go, well, let's get a Psych Bomb going on these guys first. But yeah, Countdown can inflict the Mushroom or Sleep status on you. While Ring-a-Ding can, yeah, do Mushroom, Silence, Scarecrow I'm not really worried about. But they do have Instant Death available, so you might want to watch out for that. But yeah, let's get a little Thunder going in on them. Uh-oh. Nuts! They went after the one guy who I couldn't protect. Or who didn't have instant death protection there so oh well but uh let's see with these guys actually you know what how about we get mallow up even though peach could revive him but mario doesn't have any multi-targeting damage or at least not evenly distributed but uh okay yeah let's just go with another psych bomb then Snowy could also deal decent damage to the ring there. But, you got Thunderbolt, it's a lot more efficient there, and we beat him. Hooray! But yeah, where are all these enemies coming from anyway? Off an assembly line? Find out next time on Let's Play Super Mario RPG! This is H.G. Bailey, signing off. Have a good day!